On the island of Sodor, there's three brake vans in the brake van shed. A red brake van, a green brake van, a blue brake van, and of course Toad. Duck came and took one brake van for his goods train. And Donald came and took another for his train. And then Douglas came and took another for his goods train, which meant Toad was now the only great man left in the yard. But then Percy came into the yard looking for a great man. Then Percy came into the yard looking for a brake van. Oh dear, said Percy, I am in a bit of a pickle. I'm not too sure if this take over his brake van. Well, Mr. Percy, not sure if this is a good idea. Sorry, Toad, said Percy. We've got a good train to pull, and the good train can't be late. Toad to the back of the goods train and he ran round front and coupled up to the goods train. and set off. Then Oliver came into the yard and saw Toad rolling away. Where's Toad going? Wait, Percy, come back! Tried Oliver, but Percy already gone. Percy pounded along and he enjoyed taking Toad for a spin. Meanwhile, Toad enjoyed this too. They charged up Gordon's Hill. Oliver followed not that far behind and all of them chasing after Percy. Meanwhile, Percy rocketed down the line and he rocketed through Henry's tunnel. Ooh. 
away, Percy. Clive Oliver, come back. But Percy'd already raced into the distance. Wait, come back, Percy. Wait. Percy started to rumble over the bridge. He was unaware of the danger ahead. Part of the bridge had not been finished. And Percy couldn't see the danger ahead. He carried on unaware. How? cried Percy as he tumbled off the rails and the good train followed. Crash! Toad laid there in a daze. Yeah, 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 that was the best day of my life. Then Oliver arrived and surveyed the wreckage and he went to get help. Harvey soon arrived with the arrived to clean the mess up. And in no time, Percy was back on the tracks. And the broken track was repaired. And Oliver said Percy could borrow Toad for the rest of the journey. Percy thanked Oliver and he steamed away. That night, Duck, Oliver and Toad were resting at the sheds. Percy came to apologise to Oliver for taking Toad. Hello, Doc, Oliver and Toad. Hello, Percy. Well, I'm so, so sorry, Oliver, for taking the break down. Well, I should have asked first. Oh, never mind, said Oliver. At least Toad enjoyed his trip.
it, didn't you, Toad? Yes, I did, Mr. Oliver. Good. I think you should come and sleep with us for the night, Percy. I think it's getting rather late, said that. Oh, yes, I will, said Percy. And Percy backed into the space next to Duck. And they all lived happily ever after. The end.